New details now on another story we first reported at noon. Eight people are recovering tonight after being transported to the hospital for exposure to carbon monoxide inside a local home. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pleiner is live in the newsroom with the latest information on the leak. Shannon, we put carbon monoxide and smoke detectors in our homes for this very reason. We hope they never have to alert us, but if and when they do, they are quite literally lifesavers. Friday morning, carbon monoxide alarm sounded on the second floor of this multifamily home on Ridge Street. According to fire officials, eight people were inside at the time, two adults and six children all under the age of 18. Crews immediately went to work. They responded, they found high levels of carbon monoxide. Uh, they called the gas company, which is standard procedure. And at that time, they also discovered that some of the residents were ill with carbon, possible carbon monoxide poisoning. All evacuated, but Chief Pappas tells Eyewitness News a woman on the first floor was symptomatic and vomiting. Eileen Davol lives nearby. I saw people going back and forth across the street. Um, a lady was very upset, you could tell, and another guy was walking around in circles. Soon, an answer as to where the poisonous gas was coming from. We had the gas company arrive. They did determine that the furnace for the second floor was uh, burning improperly. It was uh, filling the whole house with carbon monoxide. Fire officials tell us while the second floor detectors were operational, the ones on the first floor contained dead batteries, enabling the gas to spread further. But still, some is better than nothing. It just shows you with the importance of having fully functional carbon monoxide and smoke detectors in your house. Now those eight residents were taken to the hospital just to be checked out. The fire department tells us, by the way, that any CO reading above 35 parts per million is considered dangerous. This house had reading levels exceeding 80. Live in the newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.